Hey guys, uh, so I got, I finally got uh, a PSU, and unfortunately I don't have quite uh, many good points to it because there's some major flaws. So what I get, I got a Zellman ZM750HP. Here's the box, and um, there you go. You can see the uh, model number. Now, um, before I get into everything. Uh, I explain why I got this power supply unit versus uh, other power supply units. Um, first and foremost, uh, I w have been using a 430 watt Roswell as a temporary uh, PSU. I'll show you guys that PSU here. And here we go. It's actually quite a nice uh, PSU, and um, it's a 430 watt. It's got a 530 watt uh, 60 second peak power. Um, it, not enough for gaming, because uh, unfortunately, uh, when I got my video card, the 8800 GT, that was when there was a huge GPU drought, because ATI hadn't yet come out with their 3000 series, and NVIDIA was milking us for, like, everything, alright? So, uh, with my previous power supply before this, it was a thermal take 500 watt. Now, that died because it just was kind of shaky and old. Now, uh, this is okay with my five hard drives, so long as I'm not going to start playing games and stuff. The moment I, I uh, play games, the power, uh, the, the 500 watt had a, um, a, which had an external five and a uh, quarter bay that would tell you how many watts the PSU was drawing. And on average use, it'd be, uh, I'd say, upper 300 to low 400 watts really wouldn't spike that high. So this P PSU was fine for work only purposes. Now, this power supply obviously has a lot more wattage and what's nice about what one of, one of the nice points because there's a lot of bad points. One of the nice points for this PSU was that it, it, a lot of PSUs when they say they're like 700 watt max that's also the maximum continuous peak. So uh, this power supply, it's 750 watt, but its maximum continuous peak is 850. Now, what's the difference? Well, I'll give you an example of my viewers. If you guys remember the dirt demo videos I shot, that was when I had both 8800 GTs working in SLI. Now, that put my PSUs uh, I'm sorry, my PSU with the two GPUs at 600 watts continuous, and that blew out that PSU. Now Newegg accidentally sent me two of them. Thank you, Newegg. Um, so that's why I was still using the same power supply, only it was the other one. So I had two of the exact same PSUs, and that second one finally just recently died. Thank you, Florida Lightning, for power surges, whatever. So anyway, um, so this uh, PSU, um, just a lot to cover, and I'm not doing a script because I want to shoot some other videos and whatnot, and I don't have all day to shoot videos. So anyway, um, yeah, so this power supply unit um, has a bunch of protections, undervolt, overvolt, etc. So basically, um, at 850 watts, let's say that I, I'm, I was, not that I could with the system uh, set up right now, let's say I did draw 850 watts. After, I don't know how long it sustains at 850 watts, but if I continuously draw more than 850 watts, then this PSU will just shut down. Unlike uh, a lot of PSUs, they'll just die, which really is not something you want to have happen because then you have to rip out the PSU, throw it out, and buy a new one. Which, not exactly on, you know, part of my long-term strategy here. But uh, the major flaws, which is uh, why I'm going to be returning this, um, well, there's actually a couple major flaws. First and foremost, these serial ATA ports, well, let me show you the 430. Now, I like my hard drives to face out because I uh, cable management is a big issue. Now this is a, um, I don't know the exact terminology, but it's a left facing um, port. There you can see you can see my skin there. So my, I'm going to 
bring the camera and show you guys how my hard drives are. You've, if you see my RAID 1 uh, explanation video, you, you, you can clearly see this. Now, here's the problem right here. These wires don't bend. All right. Now I know that the I'm sorry about the shaky quality, but basically my hard drives face out. All right. This makes it easier to manage the cables. Now these power cables don't they, they don't bend. They just stick out. And so what that means is that I can't put my side case back on. I can't use my side case. What does that imply? It implies that the fan on my side on my side panel, I said side face, side panel, isn't really blowing on the GPU. I have an 8800 GT. It's a single slot and it runs hot. How hot? Okay, right now. I am running at 61% fan speed. 176 degrees Fahrenheit or 80 degrees Celsius. All right. Now, this is idle. I'm not playing any 3D games right now because I'm shooting a video. In fact, I don't play games all that all that often. Now it's 650 uh, megahertz on the GPU, 950 uh, megahertz on uh, the GDDR3. That's hot. All right. That that is what most people uh, full you know, a full load when you're doing games. I have the fact that I'm in Florida, so I'm baking in here. So I don't need, the, before I could get this down to about 150 degrees idle, underclocked, all right? This is not acceptable. This is just bad, all right? I can't put my side panel on. My GPU is, is too hot to play games. That's the whole point in getting this PSU. One more issue. There's only 20 amps on the on the rail for uh, the six-pin connectors of the GPU. Here's the video card uh, box uh, shape, and it says right here that you want 26 amps on the 12-volt rail. Now, I'm more of a technical guy than a, a electrician. All right, but 20. Here's the thing. Not only is it limited to 20 amps, but it also shares one of the um, wires for the serial ATA connectors. So you're not even at best you're not getting the full 20 amps, and that's still six amps short of the power needed for the PSU. Now I could probably uh, get an adapter and and split it between two different rails. I got to read more about that. No, I'm not a. I don't. I know just enough to know that this is not good. So basically, my GPU is running 30 degrees hotter because I can't put my side panel on. Because the e oh, and then, and then on top of that, when I tried to put my side panel on, you don't need the power system down to put the side panel. On, okay, three of the five power connectors came out alive while my system was running, and the top non-modular uh, Serie uh, ATA power connector cracked. Now it still plugs in, but no. It's just no. Okay? This is just poorly thought out. I mean, a budget 430 watt Roswell, which is Newegg's brand because you know when you go to the superstore, um uh, superstore, you know, supermarket, whatever um, market you go to, they have their cheaper cheaper brands and they jack up the prices on the name brands so they 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 can milk you out of even more money anyway. Okay, if, if a cheaper PSU could get this right, and this one can't, all right, that's the whole developers versus designers thing. Okay, they obviously didn't test this in enough scenarios to realize, hey, this PSU is not well thought out enough. Granted, there's a lot of good points, but no, this this power supply is fail. So, um. I'm going to test it out and I'm going to shoot a couple more videos for you guys, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching and, uh, I'll post a couple, uh, at least one or two more videos, uh, before, uh, the end of the day.